Lola, welcome to the Wolf Pack. My name is Andrew A3, and welcome to Time Only Knows. And no, how many times I'll tell you, I'm not known as John. I am Sand. Why well, is this gonna open? Time Only Knows. Hold on. Whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Alright, about an hour has passed since now since you were brought into this hospital into the hospital after your suicide attempt. Well, do you remember anything? No, nothing. Even looking at my own license isn't bringing back anything. My name is Sand. Seriously, I hope it'd be something cooler. Just to be certain, I'll ask you one more quick, one more time. You really can't remember anything. Anything at all. Your occupation, your birthplace, the reason you attempted suicide. Any trivial detail will do. Tell me anything that floats for your mind. No, nothing. I'm afraid. It's like, who am I? Where am I? When am I? Well, as you can see, you're in a hospital room lying in a hospital bed. The time is 7 p.m. on a Wednesday. And I'm Dr. Kaiko, the doctor on duty today, who got stuck with dealing with a handful like you. I'm a neurologist, so you better show some respect. Come on, don't call me a handful. You are a handful. That's a fact. However, it's also a fact that you're a deeply interesting patient. Your CT, MRI, and EEG are all completely normal. Your body's almost entirely unarmed. However, your mind is seriously damaged. Listen, carefully. I am, you, what you have is called generalized amnesia. Generalized amnesia? It's one of the most serious forms of so-called memory loss. Every memory pertaining to yourself from your birth up to this point has been lost. <clears throat> you have some level of recollection of various points of common knowledge and common sense, but who you are, who you've been involved with, you can't remember anything about your personal history. Really? Wow, but like, I can't even remember failing to commit suicide. Does that happen a lot? No, I've never seen a case like yours. Generalized amnesia takes itself, itself is extremely rare in the first place. Anyway, you're only one step away from leaving this world. Even if you have, even if you've lost your memory, you still have your life. You should be more, ha more happier than that. Happy. But I can't even remember my own suicide attempt. Have you been told about, our, the, um, about the circumstances under which you were discovered? The paramedics and the ambulance that brought me here didn't really say much. You have put up a tent in your apartment and were using, attempting to use a charcoal briquette to kill yourself. It only takes a moment to die from carbon monoxide poisoning. You are on the point of crossing the river Styx. You ought to think the one who found you. It was quick that quick discovery that allowed you to survive. Consider yourself fortunate. Fortunate? Am I really fortunate though? I mean, I was trying to leave the world behind by poisoning myself. But I wound up surviving instead. Can you really call that fortunate? Obviously, it's fortunate, you idiot. Do you have, do I have any respect for the life your parents gave you? <sighs> Either way, now I've got amnesia too. Here, look at this. It's the driver's license from the wallet that was in my pocket. Even looking at this photo of my face, does I don't feel like it's actually me. That's how little I remember. Yeah, I am definitely not the shadow. Yeah. God, I would suck if I had amnesia, you know? It's like, you know when you go, when you forget your memories, it's only gone for now, or sometimes forever, but I would hate to have amnesia. Am I going to have this amnesia for the rest of my life, or will my memories come back at some point? Don't worry about that. As it happens, I prepared a special new type medicine for you, the product of the finest developments in recent medical science. Look at this capsule. It, this is what's going to save you. Hmm, so it's some ginormous, so what is this ginormous red pill? This capsule is a memory recovery agent. Based on an, in an intracerebral intrace histamine nervous system activator. The medicine was only recently approved, but it was originally developed as a treatment for cognitive function disorders. Well, never mind the technical talk. The point is, this capsule is a super powerful memory restorative, and furthermore, it's covered by your insurance. 
a super powerful memory restorative. So how long will it take until it be until my memories come back? I have a printed explanation explanation of the message here. According to this, it gen if a generalized amnesia patient such as yourself takes it, you'll recover 50% of your memories. After one hour, 95 at two hours, and 100% after three hours. So if you take it right now, you should be have everything back by morning at the least. Whoa, I can get everything back that quick? Man, my medicine is crazy. And then all I have to do is go to sleep and wait for my memory to come back? Correct. Well, ideally, but there's one, but there's one actually one problem. A problem? Yeah, look at the back of that license you've got. You got something written in messy handwriting. The back of the line, the license? There's a phone number and it says emergency contact. Cheryl Satome. Cheryl Satome. Sayotome. Saltome. Who's that? Well, her last name is different from yours, so it seems clear that she isn't an immediate relative. If you got her designated, her designated as your emergency contact, she could be your girlfriend or something. Anyhow, at the time, this, that, at the time that you arrived here in the, in the ambulance, we contacted this Cheryl Satome. We told her that someone called Sam had been, hospi had been hospitalized and for following a suicide attempt and requested that she come visit the hospital at once. You seem, so, you seem to live alone, so we didn't have any contact information for your family. The only person we found who seemed to have some connection to you was Cheryl Satome. Right on the back of your license. Wait, I have a girlfriend? And she's here at the hospital. Yes, that's the problem. Huh? What's the problem with my girlfriend coming to visit me here? There are three of them. Three? What do you mean, three? Three different girls showed up. All claiming to be your girlfriend, Cheryl Satome. What's going on here? That's what I want to know. We only called one person. So why are there three different self-proclaimed Cheryl Satomis here? Why is this nonsense happening? Um, do these sh three Cheryls all look the same too? That would make them clones. No, they don't. Hold on. Better. They look different, but every one of them claims to be your girlfriend, Cheryl Satome. Incidentally, the three of them are, way, are all waiting outside in this room. Well, do you want to meet them? Of course I want to meet them. I'll bring them in now. Then wait here. Alright then, first of all, introduce yourselves, one by one. Huh? Sandy, you know me, right? It's me, Cheryl Satome. What? <laughs> this is weird. What was that? Cheryl Satome was standing right here. Don't go around using other people's names. Uh, um, um, but I'm Cheryl Satome. What? I'm Cheryl Satome. Why are there two more of me? Here I was, wondering why some cheerleader was loitering around the waiting room in the middle of the night. It turns out she's a phony Cheryl. What the hell's going on? Um, like I said, I'm Cheryl Satomi. Who are you two? What in the world? What is this chaos? Hey, you free. I said to introduce yourselves. Were you listening? As I explained, Sam here was brought in after a suicide attempt. On top of that, he has generalized amnesia, which means all of his memories are gone. He's not going to know which of you is the real Cheryl Satome. Tell Sam a little bit about yourself and show him show some and show some concern for him while you're at it. Right, of course. Sorry to make you such a wreck after you barely escaped your death, Sam. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess I was kind of worried about Sam. But when I got the call from the hospital, it turned out there was two more Sheryls. Of course there was going to be a racket. Sand? Are you okay? Alright. Why are you in any- are you in any pain? Why? 
Why did you try to commit suicide? <laughs> this is like comedy at this point. I know that I'm not supposed to laugh at something like this, but it's funny now. No, no, I told you to introduce yourselves, cheer cheerleader. We'll start with you. You two stay quiet and wait your turn. Hold on, what did I just say? Back on. Uh, do you recognize me, San? I'm Cheryl Sal Saltome. I don't believe you. I can't remember you at all. Like, did you really know that you're cute? Ah, such a soft smile, overflowing with affection. Like the smile a mother would give her child, inspiring a sense of security and protectiveness? Yeah. And that delicate face, that incredible waist, those long legs. Is she a model? She looks like a doll or something, is what I thought. You really don't need to voice every single thought you had out loud. Sand, you don't even remember my face? We're dating. I don't. I'm sorry, there's just nothing here. I had a hard time believing it when they explained it to me, but you really have lost all your memories, huh? I can't believe you don't even remember me. My name is Cheryl Satome. I go to school in a nearby town, and I'm on the cheerleading team. I'm always practicing late into the night. I was just on my way home from school when I came here, actually. I was in the middle of practice when the hospital called, so I rushed over here without a shower. Sorry to show up like this. Oh, this is actually great. <laughs> well, I'll explain more later, but we met about three months ago. You've been working as my private tutor. Oh, so I work as a tutor and you're my student? Yes, that's right. You really have forgotten. You've really forgotten absolutely everything, Sam. I know there isn't much disappoint and much point in saying this to someone with no memory, but how could you try to kid yourself without a word to me? That's so horrible. I'm heartbroken. I'm I'm your girlfriend. You can't just leave me out at all. All right, all right, that'll do. But wait, I have so much to say. There are two more after you. Let them introduce themselves first. All right, pigtails. <laughs> There's huge eyes, glittering as though she were wearing rainbow contacts. No long eyelashes. No need for mascara. Those pigtails. They're like a butterfly. This girl's like an idol. But how can this be in her eyes as they look at me? I feel contempt to say this I felt as though she were looking at something filthy and disgusting. Beneath that gaze, all you should. A suicide attempt, huh? Yep, apparently. But I don't remember it all, but. He even screwed up at committing suicide. Wow, well, that sure does sound like you. But what? I'm saying you're the kind of loser who screws up literally everything you do. You're pretty rude as it is, but suicide. You couldn't even pull off a suicide correctly? You're genuinely hopeless. Actually, I'm glad I, I failed. I'm still alive, that's what matters. And anyway, if you were, were so far down that you thought suicide was your only option, you could have just talked to your precious Cheryl about it. Or maybe you didn't trust me as much as I thought. Say I can't answer a question like that without, without his memory. If we're doing introductions right now, talk about yourself. Okay, but like, what am I supposed to even talk about? My name's Cheryl Satome. I go to a public school here in town. We met a little over six months ago. Like that fake cheerleader there. Cheryl said, you were a private tutor. And I was one of your students. Sam, you really, really don't remember anything about me? Come on, I'm your girlfriend. You gotta remember something. No, I mean, you really, really don't. I'm sorry. Well, that'll do for now. We'll have to chat a little more later, Sam. Last, the hair, the little girl with the black hair. Oh, Sand. Whoa. Hey, black hair girl, don't cling to him like that. Do you not see the tooth coming out of his nose? I I'm sorry. I was just so happy to see Sand. I, um, may I at least be allowed to hold his hand? Yes, I'll allow it. Now, please introduce yourself. Um, I, I'm Cyril Satome. Sayotome. I am a student at a private school in your town, Sam. You've been my private tutor for the past year. Sam, what's the matter? 
Oh no, I was just thinking how cute about how cute you are. Your dainty walk. Your hands like little autumn leaves. Your delicate shoulders. Don't care. You're like a cute little animal, the kind of beautiful girl that makes a guy want to protect you. That's what I was thinking. On top of that, a girl with a certain air of elegance in the way she carries herself. Even the way you speak is lovely. Is this what a young noblewoman is like? Oh dear, how embarrassing. <laughs> Can you not live without voicing your every thought about you have? Um, Sand? You're the first person I've ever been in a relationship with. You're still very precious to me. I, we promised that we would be together forever. And yet you tried to end your life without a word to me. How could you kill yourself? What could have possibly happened to you, Sand? Yes, yes, we're done here. Introductions are over. You three, I need you to leave the room for now. What? Why? We, I waited so long to see Sand again. Come on. Why don't you just send the, out the fake shirls? Obnoxious cheerleader and gloomy back girl. Get out of here, please. G gloomy? Uh, obnoxious? I'm not that kind of a gr of girl. You're already obnoxious. Huh? No, I can't let that slide. Exactly what is obnoxious about me? Anyway, I'm the real Carol. Why are you two harassing me? Please, let me be with Sam. Oh, Sam. Shut up! It's too late at night for this. No, it's not. If you don't want me to call security on you, get out. <gasps> Thank you. <sighs> Phew. Finally got those three curls out of here. Sam, I'm sure you noticed this, but the three of them have one particular, very clear point of, in common. You're right, it's obvious. That common point is... All three of them were my students. Each girl said I was that I worked as a private tutor and that she was one of my students. Correct. Since all of them said the same thing, I think it's pretty soon that you are in fact a tutor. Have an arcade. It means you got involved with one of your students, Sam, which makes you an unprincipled dog. Come on! You saw how cute they are. All were. How could anyone not want to get involved? <laughs> Come to think of it, for an attempted suicide case. Featuring serious amnesia. You're off you're acting awfully happy go lucky. I think that Maddie's members throw out of his head at, on the point of death will be a little more rattled. Hold on. I'm pretty I'm pretty surprised myself, honestly. Maybe I'm just an optimistic guy? An optimistic guy wouldn't have tried to kill himself, would he? In case you haven't grasped yet, the situation is extremely ab abnormal. Now, you remember that what that red large red capture I showed you earlier? Yeah. If I take this, I'll have 50% of my memories back in one hour. 95 and 2. And 100 after 3, right? That's correct. And now, Sam, I told the free Shirals that your memory will your memory will return with certainty after 3 hours. In other words, they know that. And after 3 hours, at most, it will be clear that, to you which of them is the real Shirals Satome. Do you understand now what that means? No, not really. What are you trying to say, Dr. Kiko? <sighs> Let me make this easy for you. Common sense dictates that if one of these three is the real Shiro Satome, that the, then the, the other two are fakes, right? Right? I get that much. And here's the question. If it's guaranteed that two of them are fakes, that the two fakes will be revealed after three hours, then why are those two still pretending to be Shiro Satome? The fakes will only be able to see you for three hours, and yet they're still here. Why is that? How could it possibly benefit them to pretend to be Shiro Satome for three hours? Uh, that's right. There's no point in telling a blob like that's going to be found out after three hours. Right? The meaning in that is unclear. Well, after three hours, your memories will be all be back. You'll know which is the real Shiro Satome. The reason that you attempted suicide, everything. In the meantime, you should sleep. When you wake up, all of your problems will be resolved. Your life isn't in any danger, so I'll have the shawls go home. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I have freedom of girls here all claim me to have the same name as my girlfriend. How could I possibly sleep with a mystery like this on my hands? I'm wide awake, and I want to know more about myself anyway. 
what I like, what I, I try to kill myself. Well, I want to clear all that up. So what do you expect me to do? Well, for now, could I have some time to talk over things over at the Sherolls? Maybe if I talk to them, I'll be able to get some answers to these th mysteries. Why well, try to kill myself? Or what the fake Sherolls were planning on, like, coming here? And you're right. Eh, that sounds like too much trouble. Can't you just wait for three hours? What? What kind of a doctor says too much trouble? Can't you let patient have... Your patient have a few requests? Hmm. Although, if you talk to people you knew before, you lost your memory. That could speed its recovery. Very well, I'll around it. Yay! With one condition, you will speak to, to, with one Cheryl at a time. If I let more than one into the room, it's just going to devolve it into uncontrollable chaos like before. Yes, ma'am. Well, I heard. I just heard some sort of weird electronic sound. That was your phone's alert tone. Uh, I have a phone. Most people do nowadays. It was in the pocket of your, your jean, the jeans you're wearing. It's right there in the side table. You should check it. Someone might have sent you a text or something. All right. All right. I do believe I will take. You, I do believe I will take you up on that and have a look. The screen says one new email. Oh wait, this one doesn't have a password set. That seems a little careless, huh? The screen still has its protective film on it. The whole thing is pretty shiny. Maybe I just bought it? Maybe I, I was the kind of guy to just leave the film on while I used it. Can I even shut up while you're fiddling around with your phone? Sorry, I guess I'm the type who gets chatty when I'm nervous. Nervous? Why are you nervous? Well, um, I just got, I got some kind of a weird message here. A weird message? From who? I don't know. Don't, I don't know. Someone who isn't in this phone's contacts. An unknown sender? Well, that's not really relevant. What does it say? It doesn't have a subject. The body on the email is only one line. It says, Do not trust Sherol Satome. Okay, well, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!